So in terms of your main loaded squats, guys, number one, you have the overhead squat. This is where the bar is going to be placed in the overhead position. It is very challenging because it requires every joint in your body to be functioning the way that it should. Maintaining straight arms all the way through. We want to feel as though our elbows are going to face the ground, our armpits are facing forwards, and we maintain our core stability and our neutral spine all the way through. Okay? As with all these squats, you want to take a big breath in before you start, hold that breath down to the bottom, control down, and then fire up as quickly as you possibly can. Okay? This is going to be the lightest of your loaded squats typically because it is a very challenging movement. Okay? The second loaded squat is going to be your front squat. This is where the bar is going to be loaded across the front of your body. The higher your elbows, the more comfortable that is going to feel, guys. Okay? So this is a really good way to learn the squat because it requires an awful lot of core engagement, meaning that you have to sustain the weight of the bar. It's very good for your posture, strength, and working around that spine. Okay? And number three is going to be your back squat. This is going to be the most typical squat, but also the heaviest, guys. Okay? With the bar loaded across our body, uh, across the back of our body, sorry, you're going to feel as though you have control of that bar. We can compress down and really come up with some good speed and a good load on our backs, guys, okay? Again, there'll be different types of squats. As you progress through, you will see each benefit the other and you will continue to lift more with better function and increased performance in the gym and on the course.